hi thanks for joining me this is Angie at Chicken Scratch this is the project we're making today and this is day eight of the 12 days of Christmas and this is a cute little box you can put some candy in there or some candles okay I'm gonna make one slight change originally this project was designed using our layer in circle framelits but I've changed it up and I'm just gonna use some punches today so this is the one and a half and the one and three quarter and then the top of the box is the decorative label Okay, so the supplies you're going to need, two pieces of Emerald Envy cardstock. The first one is the, the box itself, the bottom of the box, and that's five and a half by six and a half. The top of the box is four and an eighth by three and an eighth. We've got Whisper White and Dazzling Diamond Glimmer, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. We have a window sheet that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and it doesn't look like I cut that right. <laughs> um... And you know why? That's because I gave you the wrong measurement. It's two and a half by one and three quarter. Sorry about that. Now we've got two pieces of the pine cone, Presents in Pine Cones Designer Series paper that measures one and a half by one and seven eighths. Two pieces that measure one and a half by two and three quarters. And then one piece that measures um, one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And I think I held up the wrong pieces when I was given the measurements, but the measurements are right. Okay, we're using the Stitched with Cheer stamp set with Cherry Cobbler ink. And I'm going to get out the Simply Scored scoring tool and we're going to score the box and the lid. For the base of the box, I'm going to score it at one and three quarters on all four sides. For the top of the box, I'm going to score it at a half an inch on all four sides. Okay. I'm going to fold on the score line, and while I'm doing this, uh, the instruction sheet posted on my website will include the template to show you where to cut. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just reaching across, getting my bone folder. I'm just going to burnish these really quick. It, it, it actually helps in cutting also. Okay, now uh, what we want to do is cut up to the score line. So I'm going to turn the box this direction and I'm going to cut up to the score line. it's going to assemble just like that okay so now we're going to do the same thing to the lid just going to trim on these score lines okay so now we're going to take the lid with the decorative label punch and we're going to come in from the side and we're just just going to uh, punch a hole in the center and I'm just looking from both sides trying to make sure that it's lined up and it looks pretty good there and then I'm going to add the designer series paper here to the top and then we're going to re-punch it so I'm just going to punch it upside down this time so that I can see exactly where I'm punching. And now I want to add my window sheet inside here just like that. See? So I'm just going to take some glue dots and place them in the corners. 
Now, if you put something in the box that could fall out, like if you don't add crinkle paper, whatever, you might want to seal all of the edges, okay? That works perfect, just like that. See? Yay! Okay, so now we're going to put adhesive on the little corners here, and I am just going to give them a little sliver of a trim just to make sure that this lid um, assembles properly. I always tell everyone, every scoring um, tool scores a little bit different, and if you just trim those edges there, it, it helps with the assembly. And I should be using tear and tape, but I am going to use my fast fuse. I think. Oh dear! I keep I keep forgetting to um, do the little check with my wrist. I'm not giving up. Well. There we go, I got it. Okay, so bring in the sides. Okay, there's a year-end closeout sale starting um, later this week. I don't know what day this video is gonna be posted. Um, we're getting the retirement list for the um, holiday catalog. So I'll have that retirement list posted on my website on December 1st, so head over there and check it out. I'm just giving these a little trim too, just to make sure that my, my box assembles properly. Now, I'm putting adhesive on those four tabs. Just bring it up the sides. I'm laughing because of the fast fuse. I have a, a love-hate relationship with it. I love how it works, and I just, for some reason, struggle with it. I don't know why. Um, so the lid's going to go on just like this and see how nice it fits. But I want to put the Designer Series paper on there first. So these are going to go here. You know, I have to say that when we first got the holiday catalog, I wasn't sure how I felt about the presents and pine cone um, paper, and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. I cannot believe I'm saying that because I knew that I loved the um, Candy Cane Lane, and I've used it a ton, but I really like this now. And the Christmas cards I've been making, I've actually used half of this. Whoops, I shouldn't be talking. I do things crooked when I talk. Um, anyway, so I've done half my cards in the presents in pine cone and the other half in uh, the candy cane lane. There's our box with the lid. Isn't that so cute? I love it. And you could do it sideways instead of vertically if you wanted to. Okay, I'm going to take the one and three quarter circle punch. I'm going to cut out my Dazzling Diamond Glimmer Paper um, circle. And I'm going to take my um, image here from the Stitched with Cheer and stamp, what's it say? Have a holly jolly Christmas. And I'm going to cut it out with the one and a half inch circle punch. So again, if you're looking at the image, um, I did change it up. I, I decided to not use the framelits today. I know many of you don't have them, so I, I do try to do uh, a good variety of some that use just punches and some that use um, 
framelits. So hopefully I'm making everyone happy. Okay, so I'm going to place this here on top with the dimensional. And then I'm going to take my 1 8 inch circle punch. And that's the quarter inch. Where to put it? Oh, here it is. And I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of hide the hole underneath here. So I'm just going to go down just, just a tad so that it's kind of hidden. See? I'm taking the cherry cobbler. The name will be on the screen for you. And I can't remember if I've said, uh, head over to my website, leave a comment to enter to win. I do have the kit right here beside me. We need to draw a couple names this week, but we're not doing too bad on posting the winners. So yay, and we are, we are glad that you guys are loving those. Okay. Not too bad. Now I'm going to take the Baker's Twine Trio that's in the um, holiday catalog as well. Okay, slide in there. And then I'm just going to knot it at the top. Well, let me trim this first. Okay, so here's the original. Here's the one I just made. Um, I do actually really like the little scallop circle back here. But, um, so if you have the layering circle framelits, then make this one. And if you just have the punches, then this one works too. I think they're both cute. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.